Okay, March 26, 2024, and this is amazing, y'all. Um, search underway after major bridge collapse in Baltimore. Y'all know what I think about this video. Um, maybe y'all can let me know in the comments. Barf. Okay. Barf. And they always have like misery and tragedy synced up with Baltimore. History repeats. Okay. Quote the, Rev the Raven. Right? Edgar Allan Poe. Come on. Oh, they'll win some Super Bowls in Baltimore, though, won't they? So y'all can let, let me know what you think about this footage. And there's more I'll show you. Uh, let me go over here. All right, and there's more. So here's another video here. Let's look. And uh, one of these actually shows this container ship hitting the bridge. A mayday call from the cargo ship that hit a bridge in Baltimore likely saved many lives. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Six people are presumed dead following the overnight wreck that caused the Francis Scott Key Bridge to collapse. The NTSB says the cargo ship lost power and floated and rammed into the bridge, destroying it in seconds. The six people missing were part of a construction crew working on the bridge. Now, questions remain about the logistical impacts in the next months or years. Fox's Rebecca Castor has our story. Of course, there's going to be some long-term plan here, right? Maryland officials say the Baltimore bridge collapse caused by a cargo ship appears to be an accident, and it may have resulted from a power issue. We are Maryland tough. I'm, I'm getting, I don't know about y'all, sympathy with victims. I'm tired of hearing that, right? Maryland tough, Baltimore strong. It's like, yeah, okay. These stories are scripted. And look at this actor right here. And we are Baltimore strong. Emergency crews desperately searching for victims near Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge on Tuesday. It comes hours after a cargo ship struck one of the bridge's support beams, causing parts of the structure to snap and plummet into the Patapsico River. President Biden says the incident does not appear to be... Oh, okay. I didn't even know Biden was synced up biden keeps falling remember he fell off of the bike he tripped going up the stairs he fell again another time right and all of these bridge collapses what is it is it the language biden bridge bb i don't know be intentional we're going to spend all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency and we're going to rebuild that port together officials believe those still missing include construct so we're just we're going to go um a mayday and i have another video as well but i think we need to get into it oh let's look at this again what do you think of that footage look at how flat and perfect it is at the bottom of the ship at the top of the water let me know what do y'all think about this and there's no volume provided with this video hopefully you can hear me and everything but what do you think about this this looks fishy that looks fishy <laughs> it doesn't look like it's on water okay Oh, you know what's interesting, too, is they've been telling us about this AI thing and, like, altered footage, right? Pics, all of that. I don't know, y'all. There it goes. Okay, so... And then, I don't know. Yeah. So let's move forward here. I mean, I have the numbers. I have the numbers here. And watch how this hits, okay? 
Let me remove the headphones. All right, headphones removed. All right. So was it at nighttime or was it during the day? Am I missing something here? I don't know. I guess it could be daytime and then transfer into night. I don't know. Right? But. Uh, okay, so here it is. This is very trendy right now, okay? The collapse occurred after a massive container ship lost power early Tuesday. That's today. And crashed into the bridge, sending people and vehicles whatever it's going to say. So you have Baltimore, you have Bridge, you have BB, and you got Biden, you get another B. What's up with this? Search underway after major bridge collapse in Baltimore. Today's the 86th day of the year. Major bridge collapse equals 86. And that's the reduction cipher. It does matter, right? That is important. To me, that's very important, right? It says, collapsed after a container ship lost power and rammed into the bridge. Container ship ABC123 equals 151. That's the 36 prime number. Bridge equals 36 and two of the base ciphers, okay? This is the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Let me know if any decoders took that extra step. Okay? I guess it's possible, right? Francis, we'll get into the character as well. He died 1779, bridge collapse equals 79. What are the odds of that? That's the reverse reduction cipher, okay? Run it in reverse, the alphabet, and just reduce it when you reach the the tenth letter and beyond. Re add the two together, reduce it. Look at that. Bridge collapse, 79. Born in 79. The Patapsico River, if that's how you pronounce it, I know how to spell it. Look, the bridge part of... I-695 once spanned the Patapsico River, you get 79. Okay. Francis Scott Key. That's who the bridge is named after. Look, first day of the eighth month birthday. Ordinal Francis Scott Key, 188. Like the first day of the eighth month, right? Drop the Patopsico River 188. Just Z is 1, A is 26. It's a thing. Just like Francis Scott Key, you see? Look at Francis Key Ordinal. This is the Francis Key Bridge again, y'all. Look, 111 in ordinal. He died 1 slash 11. 111, right? So look, his poem became the national anthem. Interesting, and we have a presidential selection, right? The Star Spangled Banner. You see that? A major bridge that collapsed in Baltimore after getting hit by a ship is named. You see that right there? For Francis Scott Key, who turned a wartime experience in the early 19th century into the poem. You see that right there? That became the national anthem of the United States. A lot of people searching this right now. Look at this. 
His poem became the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, a major bridge that collapsed in Baltimore after getting hit by a ship is named. Yeah, we got that. That's interesting, don't you think? Because there's kind of like a war thing going on right now. Who turned a wartime experience in the early 19th century into the poem? Wow. What a coincidence. Because, look, is there some kind of war going on? Which, oh, Russia and Ukraine are at war. I see that right there. Which country is most likely to survive World War III? Okay. Ten conflicts to watch in 2024. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's kind of interesting. Right? Who turned a wartime experience? Oh, okay. Scripted world, huh? Scripted world? Who is Francis Scott Key? All right. I mean, come on. Died in 1843. I know killing equals 43. Oh, wow. Let's see. Key was a lawyer in Maryland and Washington, D.C., politics right for four decades u.s equals four and 40 united states equals 40 yeah and worked on important cases including the burr conspiracy trial okay i see that what was the burr conspiracy trial according to wikipedia Burr was charged with treason for mm. assembling an armed force to take New Orleans and separate the Western from the Atlantic states. He was ah. also charged with high misdemeanor for sending a military expedition against territories belonging to Spain. I see that. And I know we got, I know next year's Super Bowl's in New Orleans. And there may have been something else who hit with New Orleans recently, but okay. So you see that? That's what the bridge is called. You see it? Yeah. I don't know, y'all. What do you think about the footage? Mm, was anybody there? Do y'all know anybody who was there? You know what I mean? But let's um let's go back over here. You see? Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Let's um there's more. I'm just breaking away real quick. Right here. Look at some more of these. I don't know what do y'all let me know what y'all think about these pics in the comments. I don't know. They've been telling us a lot about like AI stuff. I know we saw some kind of footage there. Um I don't know. You know, I've been around. Let's see. Make sure you see that. Let me know what y'all think about that bridge. What is that? I don't know. Looks kind of clean to me. But we can go back over here. So, yeah, uh, with, with that wartime experience there, that's very interesting. And the Star Spangled Banner, and we have a presidential selection. I see a flag right there. Okay, I mean, what? He's on a ship. Yeah. So, is this just, what's the word for this? Am I, I he's on a ship here. A ship crashes into a bridge. Who turned a wartime experience? Wow, I mean, is this amazing? <laughs> amazing, right? What are the odds of all of this hitting like this? Look at the name of the cargo ship. Dolly. 28. 
okay? Today leaves 280 days in the year, like 28. And we even get the 82, the reflection, okay? The cargo ship, which is called Dolly, reported losing power just before it struck a column on the bridge, okay? So power, let me look at, I know power equals 32, Power equals 77 like United States. You saw the flag, right? You see? You saw the flag, right? Of course, I didn't enter it. United States, 77 like power. Bam. Okay. All right. Back over here. Rescuers are still searching for six construction workers, presumed dead by their employer. Sympathy, okay? If, again, check the video, check the pics, let me know what y'all think, okay? Who, and I'm looking for like a deeper meaning here of what's really, what's, okay. So when this is all said and done, what is the result? Who were working on the bridge at the time of the collapse? One person is still being treated at a nearby hospital. Okay, we okay, we got the, the river stuff. The Patopsico River. Oh, expect goods shortages in the coming days. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. So, I mean, y'all let me know what you think about these. That looks like a clean cut, doesn't it? <laughs> or like, it just looks a little clean. I don't, that pick came off of Google, y'all. I, I'm not, I'm not falling for that pick. But we can go back and look at some of the video again. Francis Key. Hmm. Look at that. Francis Scott Key. Now, let me ask Google this. I want to ask Google. I like asking Google different ways. Why is it called the Francis Scott Key Bridge? Okay. Okay. You see, we get it. Yeah, okay. We get a little bit more. Built near the spot where Francis Scott Key witnessed the bombardment. Okay, you get bomb of a fort that inspired what would become America's national anthem. What? <laughs> the namesake bridge collapsed into the Patopsico River after being struck by a ship that reported losing. Okay. Got it. That's amazing because it's just... It's... it's it's semi-confusing because it's kind of like history repeating and repeating in a way. But if they're telling you it's just repeating, I see bomb right there. So you get you get bomb, you get ship collapses, you get, excuse me, bridge collapse. And I see the word bomb in there. It's just wild. I get key. blown away by that and you have a selection year and national anthem you saw the flag that's all wild y'all let's see what's on these numbers here over there oh 695 okay i don't know i do want to see the some of those videos again real quick Um, let's do, let's do this one first again, I guess. Bridge in Baltimore likely saved many lives. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Six people are presumed dead following the overnight wreck that caused the Francis Scott Key Bridge to collapse. 
The NTSB says the cargo ship lost power and floated and rammed into the bridge, destroying it in seconds. The six people missing were part of a construction crew working on the bridge. Now, questions remain about the logistical impacts in the next months or years. Fox's Rebecca Castor. Tuesday. It comes hours after a cargo ship struck one of the bridge's support beams, causing parts of the structure to snap and plummet into the Patapsico River. President Biden says the incident does power. That Mayday call gave authorities the time to stop the flow of traffic both ways. But it's still unclear how many, if any, cars plummeted into the water. These people are heroes. They saved lives last night. They saved lives last night. Meanwhile, transportation officials say the bridge collapse is expected to cause major disruptions to trade and traffic in the Baltimore Harbor, considered a major route for shipping containers and cruise liners. Uh. Certainly environmental uh, considerations are a priority and... 5.02 p.m., like 52, president, government in White House 52. Look at the 58 degrees. Power 58. Yeah, power equals 58. You see that right there? Power equals 58. Look at government 52. White House, 52, I'm typing in the dark here, excuse me, President, 52, 502 on the news there, 58 degrees. And uh, so is uh, traffic addressing the needs of those that were impacted. That's the focus. The National Transportation Safety Board says it's standing by as search and rescue remains the focus right now, but they will lead the investigation into what happened. And Maryland equals 88 like Trump. Okay. It's nothing but politics surrounding this. Always. And Biden falling all the time with these bridge collapses. Look at it, it's too perfect. Look how clean it is just sliding across the screen. I am not stupid and y'all aren't stupid out there either. That's too clean. Let me know if I'm wrong. It's like it's like ice it's like skating. No, not going for it. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I take it back. Y'all, you can have your own opinions, of course, right? Let me know what you think. I'm not going for it. And if it, if, if y'all know anybody who is there, let me know. F for real. Yeah. So where is, is this our, are we here? Where are we at? Okay, here we are. Easy money, y'all. You see? There's a little behind the scenes right there. Okay, I got y'all's back. I What is it? What time is it? 7.07 7 p.m. Arizona time. Okay, I got off of work at 3.30 p.m. Ran to the mechanic shop. Cooked, ate, ran around the house, you know. Right? And put this together all at the same time for y'all. So again, you got to look at that character, Francis Scott Key, right? I mean, it's the name of the bridge. Okay, and I'll, I'll pull up this tab again. Right there. An American lawyer, author, and amateur poet from Frederick, Maryland, best known as the author of the text of the U.S. National... Ah, oh, I never put Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. Let's do it, y'all. And we could probably get like a date with it, huh? We hit on the fly. Hey, look at us hit on the fly. Ha ha. Look at the 88, just like Maryland. Just like Maryland. Boom. Maryland's got the 47 too, like DC and all of that. 
Ooh, look at that. 88 like Maryland. And Trump with the selection on the horizon. And you saw the, the flag. Trump's got the 47 as well. You see? What about... Let's take the away. Seventy-three, Star Spangled Banner. Star Spangled Banner's got seventy-three, like United. You see that? And look, today leaves two hundred and eighty days in the year, like twenty-eight. And we hit earlier. Dolly equals twenty-eight. The name of the damn container ship. Hello. So let's look. Let's do this. What day was the Star Spangled Banner released? Is that how you say it? 3 slash 3, 1931? Wow. So we're on 326. A 24-day span. Is it? Is it a 24-day span and we're in the year 24? Nah. And Trump equals 31. Look at that, 1931, y'all. Hey, 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 it's magic. You can laugh at me if you want. You get the 33, Masonry 33, National Anthem Day. Look at it, y'all. Ah, let's head over to the good old date calculator. Let's head over here. So, 3-3. Three, three. Ah, gotta love it. Look at that 24 day span. Hey, hello. But what about this? Hey, that's the anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner. What did it say specifically? But you saw the date. Donald equals 23. Hey, power equals 32. Look, it's the same thing as three weeks, two days. Lost power and hit the bridge. Power equals 32. You see that? Three weeks, two days after that 3-3. Three, three. What? Is, is that just Star Spangled Day regardless? Star Spangled Banner Day. Or became the official U.S. National Anthem. Okay. The anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner becoming officially the U.S. National Anthem. Wow, this hits 23 days after. And look, and I told you Donald equals 31. Look at the 1931. Now let me go prove it. Good thing we stuck around. Good thing I know that. Donald, you see? 23 days after that anniversary. 24 selection with the span. And it was 1931. Donald 31. What's up, y'all? History is saying that by the numbers, that will be the next president. But never gamble on any of this crap, okay? Because they can just flip it on you. And they can just change it. But as far as the numbers go, this character is supposed to be up. And Trump equals 47, and it'll be the 47th president. I'm not making no predictions, okay? I'm just showing you what I see. And that's, that's what it shows, but who knows what they're going to do, right? That's freaking amazing. And masonry equals 33. Look at that. And when you look up 33rd degree, um, <clears throat> you know what? You know, you get the double-headed bird. Bird equals 33. Larry Bird, that former NBA player with the 33 on the jersey. Ooh, what? Oh, and that day leaves 303 days in the year, right? I know that's Jason Tatum and Cam Johnson's birthday, isn't it? Leaving 303. Wow, the 33 and the 63 and the 66 has been super heavy in about the last four or five days. Okay, look, today's got 37 numerology, Joe Biden equals 37, and he hit the Senate stage in 73, and you saw him talking, and you see 73 numerology right there. Okay, look at the 50 numerology, the anniversary of the Star Spangled Banner becoming 
what whatever they what are they what are they calling it the official national anthem politics equals 50 and do hey donald equals 50 look at that politics and donald equals 50 along with that donald equals 23 okay y'all too blown away And I, it's like I kind of ramble a little bit. I'm excited along with showing you these connections, okay? This is my passion. I'm not on here putting on a show. I need to get this information to you, okay? I'm not here to perform better than other decoders. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to hit. Okay, yeah, I want to hit. Of course, who doesn't want to be the best? But it's more important that I just get this information out, okay? I'm not here to to start drama. This isn't a reality show, okay? Search underway after major bridge collapse in Baltimore. Okay, and I hope hopefully this all was hopefully this all hit well for y'all as it did for me. So um until next time, y'all.